Nail biting was always a habit of mine ever since I was a wee innocent child and had stuck with me for the majority of my life. Like most kids, I had an overactive imagination. You know that one Spongebob episode where Spongebob and Patrick were using their IMAGINATION while they were sitting in a cardboard box? Yep, that was me and my brother inside a box trying to use our imagination. Let me tell you, it wasn't as fun as Spongebob and Patrick made it out to be. <laughs> I used to watch one of those fantasy anthology shows as a kid where they give a good moral at the end of each episode. So apparently, if you're a chronic nail biter, you turn into a rabbit as a punishment because you didn't listen to the good, ethical, moral people around you. I just watched this girl slowly morph into a rabbit as she viciously ripped all her nails off. I know it was supposed to terrify children from biting their nails, but for some weird reason, I never really got the message because I got distracted by the cute rabbit on the screen. So if I start biting my nails like her, I could be a rabbit too! Or so I thought. Spoiler alert, I did not turn into a rabbit. Never learned how to clip my nails properly since I would always find my entire hand in my mouth, no matter how stressed, hungry, or bored I was. I remember my friend Helen from middle school getting all smart with me with her big brain juice and glasses telling me, Alex, did you know that there are more germs and bacteria under your nails than on a toilet seat? <sighs> Helen, did you know that- I don't give a I'm kidding, I was a nice friend was. You see, I wasn't gonna go down without a fight, so I made a bet. I told her that I'd stop biting my nails for good, cross my heart, and hope to die, pinky promise, never break a promise, if I watched her lick one of the toilet seats in the girl's bathroom. 12-year-old Alex wasn't playing, alright? I mean, come on. Would you rather feast into the millions of germs, for the lack of a better word, bite your nails, or lick the entire circumference of a toilet seat? Which has less germs, according to her logic. If you thought that story was hilarious, then the next one is kinda tragic and unethical. So a couple of years back, I was strolling in the mall with a friend when a sales lady approached me with a nail care kit. I know that most people would just flat out ignore a salesperson and keep walking, or be on their phones and appear busy, or just book it. But as for me, I am a very empathetic person. Maybe less now after this experience. Okay, I just feel bad when I have to act like I'm ignoring them. Imagine being in that type of job where you get paid to get rejected and ignored in public. It's a literal nightmare. No one wants to do that. I get secondhand chest pain when I watch a salesperson do their job. Anyway, this sales lady approached me, we made eye contact, she greeted me, I stopped in my footsteps, which I shouldn't have done, and reciprocated the greeting. Rule number one, do not stop. Keep walking, stupid. Before I could do anything else, she grabbed my hand and started to buff my nails and tell me all about how her product is out of this world and that I'll never have to break a nail again or even better, go to a nail salon, which I never really went to in the first place. This lady was trying so hard to sell this product to me because I remember she was trying to be all relatable, saying things like, oh my gosh, since you draw a lot, I bet you break your nails every so often since, you know, you use your hands for drawing and typing and all that sort of stuff. Uh, no? I mean, let's be real here, your nails really do need a bit of work. Well, sorry, lady! As if I already didn't know that my nails belonged to the Krusty Krab! My friend did nothing and stood there, by the way. It was so plain obvious that we both did not have the social assertiveness we always thought we had. Not gonna lie, the end result looked good and actually thought it was a nice product. But then, there'll be $80, thank you. First, you insult my nails, then expect me to give you 80 bucks? Uh, I'm sorry. It's a very nice product, but I really don't have the money to buy anything of that price. How about $50 then? No, sorry. I really don't have that kind of money. $40. That's the lowest I can go. Come on, you'll never have this kind of deal for this type of high-end product. Try investing in your nails more, girl. Thank you for your purchase. Have a great day.
despite being all salty for my spinelessness, I used my purchase and got a huge surprise. The glossy coating from the nail buffer acted as a titanium shield for my nails, so it was impossible to bite them off or else I'd break a tooth or something. I went from nail buffing to acrylic nails to gel nails. Never had I once felt the need to flaunt my nails before since I couldn't flaunt them when they were crusty and chipped, but now I can. Boom. However, since I have long nails now, I noticed that I developed new annoying habits that I thought would never do. Like popping or picking my pimples is so much easier with long nails, which I highly suggest that you don't do that. But at the same time, it's so satisfying, but still control thyself. Also tapping my nails loudly against a hard surface and scratching the tips of my nails against each other are also in the books. Even though I don't bite my nails anymore, I do often find myself unconsciously moving my fingers to my mouth and I have to stop myself before I chip a tooth because gel nails are also freaking hard. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to glorify this habit of mine. It's not a pretty sight when people look at you in disgust or shame on you for a habit that you easily can't break. It's annoying how one minute I would be working on videos with only productive intentions in mind, then the next thing I knew, I'm trying to peel that one tiny skin off the side of my nail for 30 minutes straight. Overall, a total time waster. I would pass the opportunity to go to a nail salon with friends since I never had any nails to begin with and it would only be a total waste of my money to get my already short nails painted. In the end, I gave in to my friends constant invitations and immediately fell in love with all the glitters and colors and nail art. Now look where they are now. Long, healthy, and not a single crusty cuticle in sight. I hope you all learned a very important lesson from this and that that's to run away from every salesperson you see in a 20 mile radius and if you end up buying something you didn't even need because of unethical sales practices, then high five cause same. Just watch the nails though cause they're drying. Yo yo yo, how's everyone doing in this quarantine? I hope you're staying at home watching my videos. <laughs> I'm joking. Just want to say, don't high five each other because of what's currently going on around the world. I was only just thinking to myself, like, what if I still bite my nails? I would have been totally screwed by now, not gonna lie. Bad time to be a chronic nail biter, come to think of it. Anyway, we got some new merch designs at my shop in crowdmade.com. I put a lot of effort into these designs, so I hope you like them. You can click the link in the description below to get yourself some sweet sweaters, shirts, and mugs. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for all the fan art. Uh, thank you so much for 500k as well. Yeah, um, I hit that like two months ago, but I haven't really gotten to say thank you audibly in a voice recording. I very much appreciate that. Yeah. So stay safe and healthy. Wash your hands. I love you and goodbye and see you in the next video. Hopefully next month. Hopefully. Definitely. All right. Bye. Mwah.